Hey y'all, happy Thursday. Um, I have a couple of reels that I have put out on my personal page that you probably need to check out. But I kind of want to go over some stuff so that I realize that we have a lot of new people in this group. And I haven't talked about our warmers and our wax in a while, so I wanted to dedicate this video to warmers and wax. Okay, I'm a hot mess express, guys. This is me in all my glory. This is how, if you stop by my house today, Loretta, <laughs> this is what you get to look at. Or at any time um, when I'm not doing doing like a, yeah, this is just me, red face. So I want to go over our wax, our warmers, and how to figure out how much, how often, how to clean, all the good stuff. So I'm going to start with the bar of wax. So the bar of wax is separated into eight different cubes. Okay. Um, each one of these cubes is the same. Now they're different sizes. Because you can kind of see that the shapes changed a little bit. They also have the little imprint of all of our different uh, fragrance families. So on your wax, if you are using a Scentsy Warmer, our wax, how much you use is really up to you. But some of them have, and I'm sorry the dish is dirty, but some of them have a number on the dish itself. And it'll say four. It'll say two. It could say five. Um, a lot of the newer warmers have numbers to tell you how many cubes this holds to get the, excuse me, to get the optimum amount of smell. Now, this is a dish from one of my other ones. I haven't cleaned it. It's actually sitting off to the side. It was one of those when I put it back out, I was going to clean it. I just haven't. But you may have a dish that looks like this. And there are there's an easy way to do it, and there's a not as easy way to do it. The easiest way for me that I've been able to do it, because, guys, I am busy. I have two jobs. I am doing so much different things with my team and with other uh, consultants. Like, I just got back from SFR that I do it the easy way. And the easiest way is to get black raspberry vanilla. It is one of our scents. It's an all-time favorite. I get a brick of it. I chop up the brick and I put in some to melt and have it above the dirty line. So if your line goes up to here and you put in some wax but it's not enough, you need to add more. It needs to cover all of the the orangey, brownish, uh, yellow ring that has accumulated. Now, why does it accumulate? When our wax is left unchanged for a long period of time, these are all of the fragrance that has settled to the bottom and has started to cling on to the dish. It doesn't mean it's burning. It doesn't mean that there's anything wrong with the dish or the wax or the warmer. This just means that I didn't change this out soon enough. I let it sit in there for too long. This happens, like I was gone for five days and a lot of my warmers are now showing that yellow in the bottom because it's been now almost two weeks because I left on a Wednesday. It's been almost two weeks with that wax sitting in there. So the fragrance oils are just settled. It's not burnt. It's not damaged. It's real easy to clean out. The black raspberry vanilla will clean it out real easy. Uh, we have cotton cleanups that you can put in here and you just twist after it's melted and it will clean off that stuff easy peasy. Now, you can also use other items. You can use um, cotton balls. You can use paper towels. I've used them all. I prefer the cotton cleanups because especially with the round dishes, they fit in perfectly. I twist it and it gets all the crevices. That doesn't necessarily mean that you have all of them that are completely round. Some of them are oval or square. Some of them are a swoop dish. There's so many different warmers that we have. But I use the cotton cleanups, but you can use anything you want. Now, if you use any of our cleaning supplies to try to clean this out. Now, I know at one point that's what I was doing because I was still new. Guys, I've been in for three years and I still learn something new every single day about our different products. Don't use cleaning supplies or bleach or anything else on these dishes. It voids out the warranty. Black raspberry vanilla cleans it out really good. The way to prevent it is to make sure that you're changing out your wax. And again, there is a number on your dish for these clear ones. Now, some of the smaller ones or some of the element ones don't always have a number. Your best bet is 
to use one cube and see how you're smelling it. If it's enough, then you don't need to add any more, especially for the mini warmers. Some people say the scent is too strong using one cube. You can cut them in half. These are made of paraffin wax. They're very low melting heat. You can take a butter knife to cut these. I have the crinkle cutters that they use for potatoes that I use just because I like the design. <laughs> I really do. I just like the design. Um, you can cut these. Um, when I break these open, basically I move it like this and all I do was I just crack them like this. I just separate them while they're still in here. I put them on the top part. I just kind of pop it out. I set them here so that way I can just pick up one cube at a time. Now, how often? I say that normally with my waxes, I need to change them out at least once a week. Now, some people will change them out daily. Some of them will change them out every three or four days. Some of them will change them out, you know, once a month. Some of them forget to even change them out and add more wax. Honestly, there's no right or wrong way. It's basically, it's to get the best performance is that when you can't smell it is when you probably need to change it. Now, if you are like me, I work from home. So I, I, the scent gets lost on me within a couple of hours because I'm in it. I'm around it. For me, I change them out once a week because when I leave my house and I come back and I can still smell it, or if someone else comes up to my house and they can smell my wax, I don't normally change it. Now, I used to change them twice a week. I used to change them on Sundays and Wednesdays. And that was just a lot for me, especially with my business growing. And then I had more warmer, so I wasn't just changing out one or two. But I was also using a lot more wax, and I felt like I was going through it too fast. Guys, I don't want you to go through wax really, really fast. I want you to get the best experience out of the wax. Uh, so it is really up to you. If you can't smell it and no one else can smell it, then change out your wax. Just make sure you're not putting new wax into old wax. So just to kind of recap, your dishes will have a number for the maximum amount for optimal scent. You can do less. I just wouldn't do more. Always change out, like take out the old wax before you put in new. Make sure that you are using Scentsy Wax and the Scentsy Warmers. And then make sure you have something to clean it out with. Again, you can use cotton balls. You can use the cotton cleanups. You can use paper towels. You can wait till it hardens and pop the wax out. It just depends on what you want to do. Now, the reason why I say Scentsy Warmers and Scentsy Wax is because I know not all of you have just Scentsy Warmers, and maybe not all of you have just Scentsy Wax. Let me kind of go through how Scentsy has designed their warmers. Our warmers can stay on 24-7, seven days a week, forever and ever, amen. They, the light I see lasts longer if I'm not turning it off and turning it on. So that way I don't have to replace the light as often. Also, our warmers are built for a low melting heat. Our wax is made of paraffin wax. It is warmed. The, if you put your fingers into it, it's not going to burn you. It's going to be warm, but it's not going to burn you. And that way the wax is not getting too hot. So if you have children or animals and they get into the wax, you don't have to worry about them being scolded by the melted wax. On the other warmers from other companies, those waxes and those warmers are built differently. They do have warnings on them that they can't stay on 24-7. It does say extreme heat if, le if left on for long periods of time. Their bulbs are built for their warmers and their wax. If you have a high voltage wa or a high wattage bulb in a Scentsy warmer, it won't work. It needs to be a Scentsy bulb because ours are built for our, our light bulbs. Like, you know, when you go to the hardware store or the grocery store and you go get light bulbs, 40 watts or 20 watts or any of those bulbs, they all look different and some of them get hotter than others. So that's just all it is, is that we have specialized warmers and bulbs. So these are the scenarios. If you have a Scentsy Warmer, Scentsy Wax, it's going to be the perfect combination. If you have a Scentsy Warmer and the other brand wax, this wax won't melt because of our low heat in the warmers. Now, if you have the other warmers and our wax, you put that in there because their wattage is higher, 
it's going to melt and it will start to burn. Um, it will have a burnt smell to it because it's too high. So that's just kind of a breakdown. It's kind of our wax 101, our warmers 101. Um, we do have different types of warmers. We have our mini warmers. We have a standard warmer, which uses a light bulb. And then we have our element warmers, and that is where you have a red dot on the side that will tell you if it's on or off. Some of them illuminate, some of them do not, but normally it's like an LED on the inside and either makes it do something different or it's just a heating element. So please drop all of your questions down below. If there is something I've said you don't quite understand, please feel free to reach out to me. I want to have... I want to find all the information for you and I want to make sure that you understand the way our warmers and our wax work so that way you're not overusing wax, you're not underusing the wax, you're not getting the best scent out of that wax. And again, it's all up to you on how you want to use them. The scents that you pick, if they're too strong, use less wax. If they're not strong enough, then we either need to change the wax or add more wax. And to decipher that, that may be a one-on-one -on -one conversation we need to have. I hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure that you like, share, and subscribe to my channel to get more information. I love you all. I hope you have a blessed day, and I'll talk to you guys soon.